All right, so we have uh, come back to the workshop here and we've brought with us the Champion oil filter that we took out of the airplane earlier today. And back here in the workshop, we're gonna use uh, the tool that we mentioned earlier. This is a, um, an oil filter cutter. We're gonna use this tool to open up the oil filter here in just a moment, pull the element out, and use this, uh, this magnet here on the end of this little probe. And we're gonna go over the oil uh, filter element and see if we have any metal parts in there. So that's gonna be the last part of this oil change. Um, well, that's not true. The last part's gonna be the logbook entry. This is the last physical part, so we're almost done. All right, so we got our rubber gloves here. This tends to be a bit of a messy project, so make sure our hands stay nice and clean. And we're just going to take our oil filter straight from the box. It's probably full of oil. It's got some oil in it. It's going to come out here. That's kind of inevitable, I think. So that's all right. We expect to make a mess. That's why we have this tray. Alright, so we're going to put the filter on this, uh, this tool and just cut it right open. As I said before, this is an automotive style cutter that we took to my dad, used his tools, and cut a hole in it so it can accept the male oil filter uh, that we have for the airplane. Okay. And I'm just going to tighten the blade up against that, give it a little snug fit, and just start going around to cut this thing open. That's working much better. Live and learn, right? Oh, that sounds good. I heard a noise. All right, that has worked. Okay. So what we have done it's actually heavy. We've cut the, uh, the end of the oil filter off right there. I'm done with the tool now. Take that away. Wipe this off a little. And now, here's the business end of an oil filter. The element right there. Got a spring inside. And then just some more oil there in the can, which uh, we'll have to take care of. All right, so not too bad. Uh, so what we'll do is take our utility knife, and we're going to cut the ends off this. There's no graceful way to do it. Gonna do it. All the way around. We're just cutting the paper element loose from the filter on both ends. I 
I gotta tell you, looking down in there, I don't see anything except for oil, which is good. We don't want to see any sort of oil uh, driven particles. go. Starting to come loose. And folks watching this video, I'm sure some of you might have some ideas on an easier way to do this. And we are certainly willing to listen to those. But in the meantime, this is what we're doing. Started pulling that, that element out. Got our magnet here. I don't see anything at all. Just gonna run that along. See if we have any metal particles. I don't see anything shiny. Well, I guess the interesting there is not all shiny things are things to worry about. They have to be metallic. That's true. And what Brian's talking about is in an overhauled engine, there are surfaces in there that are coated with a, uh, I don't know if it's chrome or what the material is, but it's for the, the bearings and uh, those rotating parts. And sometimes there's a little overrun with that material. Um, I don't know, even cam lobes, lobes possibly. Um, and that's non-metallic actually so if you see shiny non-metallic particles in here that's not really anything so much to worry about we're looking for metallic iron parts parts of the inside of the cylinder valves solid parts of the cam bearings all that stuff Like I said, this is not a graceful thing. It's not very clean, but that's okay. We're just kind of doing a rough dissection of this oil filter so we can look at it. Again, looking inside of all of these little pleats. That looks pretty clean. Oh, yeah, I don't see anything in there. No. I'm just running the magnet across there. That looks really good. Yeah, this is great. Nothing. That is clean. Nothing but oil. Good, and that's what we expect. So we would say this is a healthy engine. Which is a good thing, because we're getting ready to use it. To go across several states to travel on a nice vacation. Nothing? Okay. Well, I think we're going to call this project finished. As soon as I clean this up, we'll make the logbook entry, and that'll be finished. And so that's a good, uh, good oil change, and that's what there is to it. Excellent. Well, good for another 35 hours. That's right. We'll be doing this in uh, another couple months.